at www.lawmanguitars.com. I could just keep on doing this all day long. What have I got here? This is one of very, very mm -hmm. unusual guitars that I've ever seen. And uh, I didn't even know they existed until someone showed this to me and said, you need to buy this, Lawman. And I said, why is that? He says, it's called the Outlaw. And I said, Lawman, Outlaw, I like it. It works for me. This is a 1977 Electra X740 Outlaw. And I got to tell you, it is a really, really, really cool guitar for a lot of reasons I'm going to show you here in just a minute. But first of all, it's all original. It's in absolutely beautiful shape. There's some pick scratches on the pick guard, of course. Uh, there's just hardly any dings at all on this guitar. I mean, I was just, I just marveled when I got it. Uh, and it's just absolutely beautiful. Now, this guitar uh, was, uh, like all the Electras, made in Japan. It's a neck-through design, so uh, this neck is never going to go anywhere. I mean, if, as well as it plays today, it will continue to play like this uh, till the day you're gone. Uh, and pass it on to your next ones, and it's going to stay the same way for them. I mean, they're just great, great guitars with this neck-through design. It's a three-piece neck, so again, there's just not going to be any wavering at all in that neck. And, oh my goodness, it plays nicely. <laughs> Boy, you know, you know it's from the 70s. It's got a brass nut, okay? Nobody uses brass nuts anymore, but I like them. You know, they, they, tell, you, uh, they tell me it's from the 70s and it was original. Now, the guitar is, like I said, original. It's got the original Magnaflux pickups. Now, these Magnaflux pickups are very, very, very strong. They are they're wound extra hot and uh, I have to say they sound absolutely marvelous. I've had several guitars with them now and I really like how they sound and this one is certainly no uh, uh, exception to that. Now it's got Grovers on the back. They look like they're very uh, high-end Grovers. They've they're got some special thing over the gears, a uh, little cover there that uh, uh, tells me those are a high-end tuner. It's got a different stem on it also. And then it's got the uh, uh, Electra model number and serial number on it, so we were able to date it and uh, find out when this guitar uh, came from. Now, it's got, of course, an adjustable bridge, fully uh, tunematic style adjustable, uh, a set uh, tailpiece that's never going to go anywhere. It's uh, bolted right into the body, so it's not going to go anywhere. And it just sounds great. Now, it's got uh, uh, this... <laughs> Selectomatic, okay, that's what Gibson called them, and uh, they were doing some of the same things uh, back in the 70s with Electra. And uh, what this does is it arranges the pickups in uh, uh, either series or parallel, and it, it picks certain uh, uh, pickups out in each individual setting. And I've got all uh, what they do listed in the uh, 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 site that you can go and, and check them out. But uh, let's run through them. <laughs> out of phase. And of course it's got a volume and a tone. So it's just got an infinite number of sounds. Now, if that wasn't cool enough, get this. This guitar has the modules. Now, uh, Electra had guitars that had modules in them. 
This one has two working modules. It has an overdrive and a phaser, and they sound really, really good. A little fast for my taste. Okay, the overdrive works. The overdrive sounds more just like another volume uh, boost uh, as opposed to an overdrive to me. It definitely gets louder. So anyway, that's all run from a little uh, nine volt battery that sits down in here. Uh, the, uh, all the modules sit in here, and I understand there's other modules that you can get, uh, but it has two working modules. Most of uh, these uh, guitars, the modules don't work, and you know there, there's, there's problems over the years. People didn't take care of them or they got wet. You don't want that to happen. Uh, but as you can see, uh, this one is just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful shape, um, and uh, it just it's just great. What, what else can I say? It's just great. You know what? I forgot to tell you. Uh, the other thing that struck me about this guitar when I saw it, I saw these fret markers. I go, what in the world are those? I've never seen anything like it. These are real abalone shell fret markers. I mean, they're not plastic. They're not made of plastique or anything else like that. Uh, and uh, they're absolutely beautiful. And uh, it, it, it comes with this guitar. I mean, it's just uh, the neck is bound with this uh, same pickguard material that you see on the pickguard. And uh, it's just very, very high quality. Uh, guitar. I was just really, really taken by it. And I'm sure uh, for those electric guys out there, you know exactly what I'm pointing to. It was new for me. It's not new for the electric guys. Uh, I've, I've been getting lots of responses from the electrics I've been finding, uh, and I've been finding a lot. So if you're looking at this, go to my site and you can find some more electrics. Now, if that isn't exciting enough, try to find a case for that guitar, okay? Impossible. It's got this huge fat body on it and uh, you will never find a case for it. But what I have for you is the Electra hard shell original case. How do I know it's Electra case? It says right here, Electra on it, and it fits the guitar perfectly. Now this case is in just as nice a shape as the guitar. All four latches are here, they work. The original handle's on it, it works. The interior is in very, very nice shape. Having a hard time holding it here, but that's all right. The uh, back restraint strap, strap is here, but as you can see, it is not connected, so that's why I'm having a hard time holding on to this gigantic case. But it's in beautiful shape. It's got the rust bronze color inside. It fits the guitar perfect, and it's the original case. So, you want an original, original Electra Outlaw case? Guess what? You gotta buy that guitar to go with it, but you're not gonna wanna buy them separate anyway. You get the whole package here. You get the case, you get the guitar, you get the uh, modules with the, uh, over, or the overdrive and the phaser, uh, you get abalone shell uh, fret markers, uh, a brass nut, uh, the Magnaflux, the magnificent Magnaflux pickups on this Outlaw guitar. So check it and all of our really cool guitars out at www.lawmanguitars.com where we are completely overhauling our website. Uh, we're in the works right now with it. We've been reviewing photos and how we want it to work. And it's going to be a great experience for my customers to go directly to lawmanguitars.com uh, and buy guitars now. We've been sending everybody to reverb.com, which we'll still do some of that. But you know what? We're planning on having a great experience for you on lawmanguitars.com. So watch for that. Uh, 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 coming out here in the next 30 days or so, and we're really excited about it. And you know what? I really appreciate you all watching my videos. I've been getting a lot of calls from people and telling me how much you enjoy them. I can't tell you how happy that makes because we work really hard on these. I'm trying real hard to show you these cool guitars in a way that you can feel like you're looking at them right in front of me, and that's what we're trying to achieve. So thanks a lot for watching. Send me an email or something if you want to talk about it particular guitar. I answer my phone. Uh, we're here to uh, talk to you about cool guitars. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot for watching today.